Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be part 26 of my Global Company tutorial series. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, so as of now, this is going to be the second to last video. This is a mod that came out recently. I'm going to go over that in the next video over there, all that feed system and cow pen and all that goodness. But for this episode, we're going to take a look at the oil extraction plant, which is on the mod hub. It does require global companies, so just be aware of that. Um, yeah, we'll take a look at it in the store. This isn't going to take too long to go over this. And as we start getting more mods on the mod hub that require global company that I already done my series, on a lot of the global company mods, I'll have to kind of add them in as we go. But here we go. The oil extraction plant is under placeables, under global company, 630,000 to buy. So take a look around it. This is gonna be your input here for sunflowers and soy, which actually let's take a look at in the menu. So in the control G global company menu, we open that up. There's two factories. Sunflower oil requires sunflowers and pallets and you get sunflower oil out. Uh, soybean oil requires soybeans and pallets and you get soybean oil out in the form of pallets so and I can't let's see if this map actually adds it into the back side it doesn't so there's not a sell point on here oh wait no there is yep there we go so here we go sunflower oil soybean oil so there's the sell prices there for it we'll take a look at production of everything um, in a minute so as far as this goes, um, the one thing that we don't have available to us right now is pallets. You make those using a sawmill mod, um, the global company sawmill, which I did a separate video on earlier in the series. So if you remember that, it'll have a, in, in that pack, you can make pallets um, through that. But uh, in this one, it gives you the ability to actually buy them. So we are just gonna, yep, go, we're gonna go ahead and buy them. So yep, they're the same capacity for each of those. They share that little tank of um, essentially uh, pallets, if you will. So. Um, right here is going to be your input for soybeans and sunflowers. Um, building is nicely detailed around it. There's not a whole lot in the back side here. It's just a very, very large building. It does have a, quite the, the uh, footprint, but as you can see, that's around the front. This door opens and closes. You can see there. These doors don't open, at least from what I can see. And we can see over here we have our pallets, so um, they're just appearing here. I'm assuming this is the pallet intake. Um, from what I can tell, that's what it's going to be, but these are not doors that I can tell open so it just it just seems odd i feel like i should be able to go further back and this is your output for pallets so um, when you spawn pallets out they're going to spawn out of there which is gonna be a little bit of pain to maybe get in there to get them but uh, you also have this nifty little board in here to tell you kind of your inputs and everything and if i hit r i can actually just go right into the oil extraction plant menu there so um, let's hop back over here we're going to take a look at adding in some sunflowers okay we'll go ahead and add those in 14,000 liters of sunflower, so we're going to see what that gets us out. We'll go ahead and speed up time just a little bit here. So if we go into the menu, one factory is probably going to be, oh, it's off right now. So let's go ahead and start that up. And that one is disabled. Beautiful. Okay, so 6,000 liters per hour is what it's going to process through, um, and it's still going to process through. So it looks like it per 1,000, well, we'll just let it process through here, and we'll do some quick math. Get it all the way going through. Should be pretty close if it's not already done. Yep, it is. Okay, beautiful. We'll slow that back down. Go ahead and take us back in time a little bit so it's still light out. Okay, um, so if we take a look in the menu there, we put 14,000 liters in. This is a full at 25,000. So uh, for every 1,000 liters of sunflower, it's gonna use 100 liters of pallet. So 1,000, 100, and then the output for that, so we'll divide the 4,900 here. We'll divide that by the 14,000 to see what the output is. So 35%, you're gonna get 35% back. So um, if I clear that out. So per every thousand you put in, you're gonna get 350 liters of sunflowers out. Um, so that's the, the ratio. So thousand liters here, you're gonna get uh, sunflower oil out. We spawn two pallets out. So it looks like each pallet is 2000 liters. And now let's go ahead and we'll put some soy in and run the same little test here. Now, if we go into here again, this is off, this is disabled. So we are gonna enable this. So 6,000 liters an hour, and we are starting out here at 23,600. So I'm assuming the ratios are gonna be the same, but we'll just double check that to make sure. Okay. It'll only take it a couple hours to get through that. 
That should definitely be done by now. So if we go into the menu here, open that up, go over to soybean oil. So 22,200, so. Let me just do some quick math. Yep, okay, so yeah, it did take, for every 1,000 liters of here, you got 100 out and 4,200 liters out. It looks like that's a little bit different on the ratio there. So let's go ahead and do some quick math here. So you're gonna get point those 30% out. So essentially you're gonna get 300 liters per 1,000 you put in. So we spawn out, looks like each pallet is again, 2,000 liters. So let's go take a look at the pallets real quick to see what they look like. And we'll wrap up this video. Again, not gonna be too long of a video, just a quick one to go over this. So everything's still on there the way it should be. Yeah, it looks like we got uh, sunflower oil and soybean oil there. And again, so each of these pallets here that we have, um, let's see if it's actually, just take a little bit, look look at it actually being worth it. So if you sold the soy at $1,500 a piece or 1,500 per thousand liters, that'd be, so you make about 21,000 off of doing soy that way. But um, we ended up making what, 4,200 liters of the oil, which the soy oil here, let's multiply 4.2 times 3,000. So you actually make a fair amount less. So depending on, I guess, prices and all that, it may not actually be worth it. Uh, sunflowers, I'm also gonna go off on a limb here and say it's maybe not worth it depending, but uh, yeah, so uh, take it for what it is. Maybe the prices need to be adjusted. I mean, maybe if you get a great demand on the oil, you're good to go on it or, you know, whatever the reason may be, but it seems like it's not really worth it for the uh, effort to me, at least compared to the crop prices you're gonna get. I'm surprised you didn't get more out of it, especially since you have to buy pallets as well and we didn't even factor that into the price there. So anyhow, that is everything I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you all for coming and watching.